Hello friend, uh, today I'm uh, bringing you a video uh, after a, a long period of pause uh, and I apologize for that. Uh, I was busy uh, with my uh, preparations and uh, study uh, to obtain a, a very important and essential, I believe, uh, certification. It's the uh, Microsoft uh, MD-102 Endpoint Administration and Management. And this test, uh, it's, uh, it's very important. It, it covers the uh, Office 365s, the uh, Intune, Parabit, in the cloud, which is it's a very a pinnacle and very essential part of the uh, uh, Microsoft uh, Azure cloud in here. And um, um, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to tell you I'm, I'm proud and I have uh, posted in the uh, community uh, part uh, in here that I passed the exam and um, I'm going to try to, um, you know, some of the questions that uh, I recall during my uh, study and uh, try to uh, add it in here for you to help and uh, I always appreciate your uh, likes and subscribes so uh, I can um, be more productive and more adding more questions for you that eventually it will uh, help you through my channel the uh, Sky Technology that uh, achieving this uh, important exam in here and uh, for the exam as i mentioned it's very important as a candidate for this exam you will have subject matter expertise and uh, deploying and configuring protecting managing and uh, monitoring devices um, and client applications in microsoft uh, 365 environments and uh, you are responsible for uh, managing identities, uh, security, uh, access, uh, policies, updates, and apps for endpoints, and uh, as well as uh, implementing solutions for uh, an efficient deployments and uh, management of uh, endpoint on uh, various uh, operating systems, uh, platforms, and devices, and also uh, implementing and managing endpoints at the scale by using uh, Microsoft Intune, which is very important part of the uh, uh, Microsoft uh, the uh, MD102 and uh, Windows 365, Windows Autopilot. As you can see, this is very important part of it. And I have, as I mentioned uh, previously in my videos, uh, I utilize this and uh, I showed you how to utilize uh, the autopilot process and. Uh, also, uh, how to uh, utilize other um, uh, other Intune uh, uh, products in there. Um, so, for this, also um, you must have the um, says here you must have the experience with Microsoft uh, Entry ID, which is as the new names as you guys know for Azure Active Directory and the Microsoft 365 technologies, including Intune, as well as as I mentioned, as a strong skills and experience of in deploying, configuring, and maintaining Windows clients. Uh, <clears throat> to be honest, I uh, did my own self study, I uh, was enrolled in one of these. Uh, 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 website educational websites uh, it's called Udemy and uh, took a lot of classes in there I uh, always uh, recommend and suggest you doing so um, it took me about uh, almost three months to prepare from A to Z but as you know I have a hands-on through my work my company we are working with Azure heavily uh, with the Microsoft uh, uh, Office 365, uh, Intune, Autopilot, all this. It was a great help for me to achieve the uh, and, uh, and prepare and pass uh, the exam. Uh, and here, as you can see, I had uh, like 813. Uh, the passing score was uh, 700. This is 813 of, um, uh, of 1,000. So um, I did good and uh, well. Uh, to good in uh, deploying Windows and uh, also imagine identities and manage and maintain. Also, I did well and manage uh, apps. I uh, also did well here. Um, usually, what you need to do after you you know 
and you took a lot of um, uh, exams and sandbox and a lot of uh, testing uh, uh, knowledge exams through, um, as I mentioned, I took a lot of class in Udemy and they did a lot of preps and testing there. So uh, I was self-confident by myself that I can uh, achieve and pass that. Um, and that's what I uh, went and um, registered. The registration fee is 165 USD. And uh, um, currently, uh, you have the options. Even you can take it from home, uh, but uh, you have to have a quiet area and quiet room, which I decided not to do that. And I decided to go to the testing center and the college itself uh, and uh, register with my ID and uh, with my uh, signature in there and there was a uh, protractors two people uh, as uh, uh, watching and a lot of uh, surveillance so it was a very good place to watch and take care of um, you know while you're um, taking the test and the um, the area the, the the exam room was well maintained and uh, well ventilated and you need to have a nice lightning, it's a lot of air to um, have that. So um, that's in a nutshell for that. Uh, the skills to measure these kind of exams is always, uh, uh, it's, it will give you about deploy Windows clients about from out of the questions about 25 to 30, which that was about it. Imagine the entity as, as I mentioned, uh, 15 to 20 and manage, maintain and protect devices. 40 to 45 percent and manage applications 10 to 15 percent which i uh, actually i'm gonna show you that in here and as you can see i have a fair amount of each things in here but uh, my most uh, most I'm, I'm i'm i was good at it as far as i see here is managing entities and uh, and uh, compliance which is um, uh, that's that's very good. I consider uh, that, uh, um, as I mentioned, uh, there is a ways of preparing for these tests. Um, you know, um, there is a ways of, uh, as always, you can have an instructor based, or you can have one of these classes you can go through and uh, register and prepare yourself. But I'm gonna tell you. It's about 65, 60 questions, 120 minutes. You have uh, some times to think, and there's a lot of case studies, a lot of yes and no questions, and um, drag and drops, uh, uh, fill up the blanks and such. And you know, um, uh, as I'm giving an example, that there are some questions lingered which in my mind, which I was able to. Uh, comprehend because I did a lot of study with uh, and preparations as I mentioned for example it have uh, a question will say uh, your network contains an active directory uh, domain the domain contains a computer named computer one for example or three that runs Windows 11 uh, as an example or um, in, in here uh, you need to enable you see you have to look for keywords for example you have it says a question you need to enable the uh, windows remote management w uh, when uh, rm services on a computer one and perform the uh, the configurations uh, as you know like uh, for the windows are uh when rm services set startup types to uh, for example startup type for example uh, uh, for automatic and create a, a listener that accepts a request uh, um, from any ip address uh, these are uh, the things that you need to set up on computer one and enable uh, the firewall ex exceptions uh, for uh, ws management communication uh, you see, the keyword says will ask you probably uh, which PowerShell uh, CMLED uh, or CMD LED uh, should you uh, use. So you got to look again for a keyword. Sometimes it will give you the answer um, uh, within the questions itself, but you have to look uh, for this kind of type of questions. So probably you're going to look, which I think I believe it was correct one, will be enable the uh, PS remoting with PowerShell remoting. This is one of the uh, the answers you may be fit for this because everything is about the PowerShell. So you need to enable PowerShell remoting in here and it's gonna help you. Uh, 
um, through uh, through that in here, you know. So uh, as I mentioned, friends, um, these are type of questions that um, it's gonna uh, you'll be uh, exposing to. Um, uh, there is other questions that um, uh, I can remember. I uh, as soon as I uh, was done with the test, I went and I started uh, writing down some of the things that I can recall and some of them that lingered in my mind. And uh, I will, I will uh, uh, um, uh, tell you that uh, from time to time. Uh, what are the questions and type you think? I think it's gonna be in there for that. Uh, maybe it will may may help. You know, um, again because I did uh, uh, a lot of preparations, uh, a lot of uh, classes I took, a lot of self study, and after taking the exams, I, uh, everything is imprinted in my mind, which is very good that I can remember most of the questions. That uh, maybe it can be uh, helpful for you to uh, achieve this exam and um, as always i um, as always i appreciate your uh, likes subscribes i always uh, uh, like to hear your comments uh, ideas about this and i will put more questions in there and again i want to thank you for uh, supporting these channels my channels and uh, also um, uh, stay tuned for more questions that I uh, can remember, I can tell you that.